Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest Champions video. So, we've got a solo event, not another anime reference. I like the name, of course, and I wanted to see what we needed to do to get points. And we get points by doing the Golden Wilson Awards, which we have already done. So that means we have to do this again. Now, I did this live the first time. And I ended up using uh, some revives because I just kind of threw a team together. I had revives um, that were going to expire. So I didn't really care. Um, but I felt like I should have done a lot better, you know? And this gave me an opportunity to go back in and do what I should have done the first time, which was put together a proper team. You know, uh, I didn't go in with my normal questing team, okay? So this here is a questing team, and I also brought in someone for that bishop. So if you watch the first time I did this, I mentioned that, you know, I wish I had looked in there and brought a counter for Bishop because that's where I spent the revives was on a uh, Bishop, the final fight. All right. So we're going in here with ghost and uh, she's not going to have any problem with this Howard the duck. All right. See that unblockable. That's fine. But unblockable don't matter if you can't touch me. All right. So. Uh, you also have a chance to apply a shock. So you see the shocks, uh, you know, being applied to him as well. But she's just ripping him up. Okay. Now, I would normally be able to re uh, phase out the recoil. But right now, the game has some input issues. All right. That's an understatement. And a lot of that has to do with why... I can't phase the recoil. If I try, the recoil will still hit. It's just a little off, but it's enough that I'll still end up taking the recoil damage. So uh, what I end up doing when I play Ghost now is I just don't even worry about that. I still brought Hood in case I push them to a special three and I want to tank the special three. But in terms of the recoil damage, I just kind of play as if I don't have Hood on the team. So uh, that first fight went okay. Now in this fight, uh, they have that protection. You have to knock them down. And then the protection goes on cooldown for a little bit. And you can do damage uh, while it's on cooldown. When it's uh, up, you're going to do damage. But I think it's, what, 60% less damage? Something like that. So you're doing like 40% of your damage. And, of course, Ghost does a lot of damage, but you don't want that kind of fight. So, what I did here was I wanted to get to a special two, but you see that he has all these Furies. I want him to get rid of those Furies so that I can parry, do a heavy like that, and then, boom, hit him with a special two. That's my goal. See how much damage I did there. I'm just going to need to do that a few more times, and it's done. OK, but I learned that uh, you don't want to lose track of his phase because I did that um, full disclosure. Uh, I did run this, uh, I think, twice with a different team. Um, I brought in Kitty Pride and um, Tigra instead of uh, Ultron and Archangel. And that team can work, but I'm not well versed with Kitty yet. So I kept making little mistakes and, and I was getting frustrated. Um, but against him, I lost track of what phase he was in. And I went to do the parry and then did a heavy. And of course got hit right in the face because when he has Furies up, he shrugs off. He can use one of those Furies to shrug off uh, a debuff. Okay. All right. So... Once I saw, uh, now right here, what happened is my finger actually slipped. That's why you saw that um, I did not get uh, any of the uh, uh, criticals. 
my finger actually slipped there. So I didn't do it at the right time. Uh, but my main strategy here, as you saw the first time, is to wait it out. All right, so like now I have a special two, parry, knock him down, and now, boom, hit him with the special two. Very straightforward, but, you know, I, I messed up uh, a, a couple of times uh, in this fight, but we still got him down. All right, so my goal is, of course, to just run through this thing without using uh, any items. So that's why I'm not going to heal up uh, and uh, I'm not going to uh, revive or anything like that. Now, I normally use Wasp. Wasp is a great counter for Ebony Maw, okay? Now, Ebony Maw got a rework, and he is much better now. Um, and he's much more annoying to fight, all right? So I want you to watch what happens, all right? So here we go, boom, you know. Now, if this was the old Ebony Maw, I would have thought nothing of, of just continuing that. But now look at that. He he um he nullified my buff, and so I got a degen, which I can't evade and can't dodge or anything like that. Just like that. You know? And so yeah, he's a lot more annoying now. So Wasp still takes him out pretty easily, but Wasp doesn't have a lot of health. So that degen is nasty. It's really nasty. Okay, but we got him down. That was why I, you know, took Wasp in there. Even if Wasp had died, I would have just finished it up with someone else. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing any other fights with Wasp, if I can help it. But for that fight, I used her and, and uh, she worked wonderfully. Now, this fight gave me some trouble with uh, Kitty and with Ghost. Because I just kept making little mistakes. Like, one time... I did have a dropped input. I was doing fine. And then I went to dash back and nothing happened. So, of course, I got hit with his full special one. And that was pretty much it. Okay. He had uh, gotten a lot of uh, uh, damage. And that one special one just took me out. And I was like, really? Really? No movement, no nothing. So, I restarted uh, that one. But as you can see... Archangel had no problem. Um, <clears throat> Archangel is a beast. We had a little bit of RNG uh, Fiesta uh, early on. You know, this is my six star rank three Archangel, but he is only SIG um, 40, I believe, right now. Yeah, I believe he's 40 right now. Um, so he's not going to um, have his uh, uh, ability accuracy is not going to be as high when he gets those uh, neurotoxins. Um, I don't believe his uh, SIG level affects whether he gets the poison or the bleed. But what it did do was when I did get the neurotoxins up, uh, I didn't, I won't need when I get higher uh, SIG, I won't need as many neurotoxins uh, to shut him down. You know, uh, if he was like SIG 200, maybe one or two and they shut down. But um, with uh, SIG 40, uh, I haven't done the math, but with SIG 40, you know, I'll probably need uh, four, maybe four neuros to guarantee the shutdown because you have a chance no matter what. But if you have like four of them, I believe they're, they're pretty much shut down. But uh, I'd have to look uh, look him up. Now, did you see how much damage that just did? I I was surprised. I, I got hit like that in the block, and I'm like, whoa, what just happened? He's got all those Furies. A lot of damage. Okay? So I'm just like, okay, we, we can't let that happen again. All right? Boom. Here we go. Wham. Fight's over. I, I got a little nervous. You know, one tap to my block, and my health just almost disappeared and i was like oh no 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 all right so that was the uh last fight that we had to do and now we're on the boss now i actually brought ultron i believe ultron uh is is a great counter for 
Bishop. Okay, uh, he's tech. When you have a tech champion, he's not going to gain all those crazy prowesses. Also, he's awakened. He's also my rank three. Um, and he would be healing up a lot of the uh, energy damage that Bishop would have put on him. All that incinerate and all of that. And he, he basically wouldn't be taking as much damage. But I said, you know what? Let me go in here with um, Ghost. See what she can do. Because Ghost is also an excellent counter. You know, she can convert those uh, incinerates into more damage. And look at that. I'm like, okay, go ahead, Ghost. Go ahead, you know? And I do have a six-star rank three Ghost, but I brought in the five-star because the five-star is SIG 200, and I'll be able to ramp up faster with the five-star. All right, just look at that. Boom. And I just went in because I didn't care he was unstoppable. Did you see that 40, was it 48K crit? Something like that. That was insane, all right? So I got my revenge on this... Uh, boss rush no items used so that's gonna do it guys thank you all for watching the video feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it hopefully this helps you out i know i had a video like this before but this time i went in with a properly thought out uh team and uh hopefully that will help you guys uh out when you do this because it looks like we're gonna have to do it twice um, now I think I ended up with 21 points because, you know, I started over and you still get points. Even if you don't complete it, you get one point for every fight. Um, and so I kept restarting it and this was the, uh, final run through. So I got the full completion plus all of the points there, plus the points previously. All right. So take care, hit the like button. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.